This video will demonstrate a typical Compass assessment. When you first launch the Compass software, you are taken to the Compass main menu. On the main menu, you can create a new client, open an existing client, or perform various administrative tasks in the software. The administrative features will be discussed in the administrative settings videos. On the main menu, there are two ways to begin a Compass assessment, clicking either New Client or Returning Client. The correct option depends on the particular client you are seeing. If you are seeing a client for the first time, you will need to create a new account for that client in the software. To do so, click New Client. You will be prompted to input the new client's account information. The fields with the yellow background are required, and those with a white background are optional. Notice that the Save button does not become active until you have entered all of the required information. After entering the required information, you can also click the next arrow button at the bottom of the screen to view the second page of the client's account. Here you can optionally enter a client billing and shipping address. You can also click the next arrow once more to access the client notes. Here you can enter any relevant notes about the client. These notes can be viewed and edited at any time in the administrative settings menu. For more information on notes, please see the video Editing Client Info. When you are done entering your new client's information, click Save to create the new client account and begin the Compass assessment. However, when that same client returns for a second appointment or any other clients that you have previously created a client account for, you will begin a session by clicking Returning Client. On the search page, enter the client's first, last, or full name into the search field. In the search results, click on the client name to open that client and begin the Compass assessment. The first step of the Compass Assessment is to instruct the client to place his or her hand on the hand cradle, and then click Continue. Note that it does not matter if the client uses their left or right hand. Next is to select the product categories that you wish to include during that specific assessment. Click each category you wish to include. Selected categories appear outlined in yellow. You can select as many categories as you would like. You can also simply select all products by clicking All Products. Note that some of the Compass product companies have not created product categories. For these companies, the category selection screen is bypassed and the assessment automatically begins. During the Compass assessment, there are two progress bars on the bottom of the screen that show the progress of the Compass assessment. The top bar shows the progress of the current step and the bottom bar shows the overall progress. Additionally, there is an image of the hand cradle with the color-coded connector points to indicate a good or bad connection with the hand cradle. When a connection is made with a hand cradle, all of the connector points appear yellow. If your client lifts a finger, you'll notice that the corresponding connection point on the image turns silver, signifying that the hand cradle has lost connection. When this occurs, the assessment will pause. Instruct your client to place their finger back on the cradle and the assessment will automatically continue. Finally, a short video plays during every assessment that gives your client more information about the Compass technology. To turn the video off, click Hide Video at the top of the screen. Notice that the video will only be hidden during that specific assessment. The assessment is finished when both progress bars are filled. If the assessment is complete and the video is still playing, you can wait for the video to finish before viewing the assessment results. Or, click Skip Video to immediately access the assessment results. It is recommended that every client you scan watch the video at least once in order to learn more about the software and technology. When the assessment is finished, the Compass Assessment Report automatically generates. We will discuss the report and the report features in the next video, Understanding the Compass Report.